In Minecraft, we all know that you can cook sand into glass. But what if you were to try that in real life? And so today, we're going to be testing Minecraft experiments in real life to see which ones actually work. This is a ghast, and this is a fireball that he shoots at you in Minecraft. And now, we're going to make it in real life. Starting with a Minecraft ghast's fiery ball. And this one's super simple, and you can follow along if you'd like. And you only need, like, two items. Starting with these items right here. We have a tea bag right here. And also a lighter okay follow at your own risk but here we go and all you need to do is very simple open this up the tea bag right here we're gonna drop it and then you're just gonna have the tea bag obviously and you're gonna untie it you're gonna open it up and all you need to do is once you untie it you need to get rid of all of like the little like crusties inside of here and just dump them out you can just open it up and then grab yourself a trash bag and dump these bad boys out. You don't need any of it to make a fireball, a little fire charge thing, okay? Next, get everything off the plate that you're gonna be using and just open this up. And just like that, you need to just do it very delicately so you don't rip it, but then you just need to place it on top of the plate just like so, make sure it's open up. And then you just have to light the top. But I'm gonna one up this, maybe two up it and add a couple more. Now we have our three fireball fire charges and all you have to do is just light the top of these. I'm gonna do three, make it crazy. Here we go, ready? I have to do this fast, if I mess it up, the house could burn down. Here we go. One, two, three. Now we just have to stand back and let them fly. Go fire charges, go, 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 go. Why am I nervous? Oh, there goes the first one. Ah, second one, ah, third one, yes, let's go. Okay, look at that. They're flying around like little fire charges. Ignore the really dirty uh, <laughs> thing right there. And now look, just like how when you're walking around the nether, you have little like things. Oh. <laughs> And now for the iconic Minecraft note block. Everybody knows that when you place down a note block and you right click it, it makes special noises. All at different pitches, vocals, stuff like that, whatever, whatever the words are for it. And specifically, if you spam it, it makes a ton of different noises, almost a song-like noise. So we're gonna recreate every aspect of the note block in real life. And so for this next one, we're gonna be making a Minecraft note block in real life. As you know, when you hit like a note block, it like makes different noises. You guys just saw it. We're gonna be doing that in real life where each of these is gonna make a different different sounding note and I'm gonna use coloring to make it a bit easier to follow along and all you need are these glasses you can do as many as you want and you don't need the colors but I have them just for visual purposes and now let's just fill these up and you're, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fill this up come on get close we're gonna fill this up very little then the next one we're gonna fill it up a little bit more you can probably tell what I'm doing we're gonna fill this one up even more the next one a little bit higher and what this is gonna do is make different noises because of how much space is filled up in each of these cups. I don't think I'm gonna have enough water. I'm gonna have to fill this up. And using these different dyes, we've now dyed these different colors so you can see uh, the differences in every single one. And you can use anything to hit these. Don't break it, obviously, because it's glass, but these should each make different noises because of how much water is filled up. Scientifically, I have no idea what this actually means. I just know they make different noises, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, Minecraft note block in real life, ready? It worked! I actually didn't know if it would work. I was really hoping it would. We have an idea. It's like a wind chime. Wait, come close, look at this. It's like XP. Someone just died right next to you and you're gaining all of their XP right now. And just like that, you've made a Minecraft note block in real life. Now this here is a soul campfire, which is blue fire. And now we're gonna make this in real life. That means for the next experiment, we're gonna be making blue Minecraft fire in real life. So right here, all you need is a bowl. We have a lighter once again, and we have our mystery fluid that we're gonna be spraying all over on the inside of this. And as a backup, just in case we have our water, that's just a, as a backup precautionary thing. And we just need to spray this all around inside of the bowl. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna put it inside of the bowl. Oh, just like that. It's like lifted off the entire side. <gasps> this is a flint and steel that can do a lot of damage and completely destroy an entire village and ecosystem. So I wanna recreate more intense version of this. Okay, and so in order to create proper flint and steel, obviously every single person watching this is like Linux. You could just use a lighter and Linux, why in the world are you wearing safety goggles? Because we're gonna be using 
Um, something else to create fire. We're gonna be using steel wool. Now, if you guys know Minecraft, steel, iron, basically the same thing. We're gonna be using a little bit of that. We have this, so all of it can kind of go inside of it. And then we're gonna be using a battery, which is going to create the fire. So all you have to do, once you have your steel wool, you're gonna pull it out. You're gonna put it inside of this thing. It doesn't really matter how it goes. It just needs to be stringy and all over the place. So it's breaking, which is so weird. It's like steel, come look at this. This is like the weirdest texture. Don't put too much in there, um, is what I've just been told. We're only gonna put this amount in. We're gonna stretch this out. And then just be careful, keep the battery away. We're gonna stretch this out, stretch it out as much as you can. You want the fire to be as big as possible. Make sure you use it correctly, use it in the right spots. Okay. And once you've kind of stretched it out a little bit, um, you're gonna make it into a light ball, okay? So we have our flint, kind of, or steel. This is our flint, we're gonna light it, okay? Supposedly, this should light it. I feel like I should be wearing gloves. I'm good? One million percent. Okay, cool. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. What, yo, it's really warm. I can feel it right here, wow. Whoa, that's crazy. What? Bro, we're creating fire. Look at that, that's insane. It's actual flint and steel from Minecraft in real life. When did they update? When did this update come out, bro? This is crazy. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't do it anymore. It must have used up all of the, or maybe we have to do it somewhere else. Maybe we add more to it? Bro, this is so sick, dude. Look at that, we're making the fire come back. I wanna add a little bit more to it. Okay, it's still going. It's probably been about a minute. It's still kind of going. I think this one, ow, is, is still being used up. So we're gonna do it again one more time. Wow, I lit that like two minutes ago now. Looks like fireworks. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit more. Boom. Dude, this is crazy. Look at that. Oh my, that looks insane. Get really, really close to it. Get really, really. It's like blowing it away and then blowing it onto me. Look how, look at the difference in color. It started off like a, like a grayish color. So basically, right, the reason why the flame is staying alight because of the fan that is going, look up real quick. There's a fan going right now. So it's keeping the flame alight because it's blowing its air onto it and it's moving the fire from one particle to the other. So when the fire is moving one particle to the other, it ignites the other particle and it keeps the chain reaction going. So therefore, it lit everything in this one and now it moved over to this one. Now it's lighting everything on there in the fire. See, like when you do like that, it's all lit already. And so it's, good. it's just gonna keep going until all of them are lit on fire. In Minecraft, you may stumble across some slimes and when you kill those slimes, they drop slime balls. Now I found the actual recipe for making a real slime. Let's just say there's a bunch of warnings telling you not to make this for a reason. And so in order to make Minecraft slime or Minecraft slime like balls in real life, the first thing you need is Elmer's glue. So we're gonna use Elmer's glue in a very specific way, right? All we're gonna do is just take the top off and then we're just gonna pour the entire thing into a bowl, okay? So make sure you have your Elmer's glue, a bowl, just pour it all in, doesn't matter. You're pouring the whole thing inside. There you go, perfect. So now that we have our glue inside, in order to make the slime, we're gonna add a little bit of a, a green dye to make our slime balls or just, the next thing we're gonna add is shaving cream on top of this. So in order to, to break the top off of shaving cream, you take the top off like that. And then you shake it and then you, you get a little bit on top. It's supposed to look like a little bit of like a pie. The next thing you need is your borax. So you're gonna take the borax and you're gonna pour one tablespoon inside uh, right here. We're gonna just, you know, once you have your teaspoon, you're gonna pour it inside. Now the water should be a little bit warm, so it'll dissolve it a little bit. Now mix the borax inside of the water, your one tablespoon. And while this is dissolving here, you're gonna mix up your little concoction that you have, your little green soup with a little bit of whipped cream on top. So you're just gonna kinda stir it up a little bit, the greenness. This is the slime block and the slime ball in real life. And now that you have your green whipped cream, we're gonna add the water and borax on top of it. Okay. Here we go, we're gonna pour a little bit on top. Very nice. And now we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Here we go, we're gonna, we're gonna grab it. So now we've made ourselves, oh, look at that. It started off as like, what, whipped cream? Elmer's glue, something like that? Look at that, oh, oh. Ew, it is the weirdest texture of all time. Get really close, get really close. Let me get really close to the mic too so you guys can hear it. 
And in order to make a slime ball, we need to keep mixing it together. So don't, we're not done yet. This isn't the end. This isn't a slime block in, or slime ball in real life. It's pulling the red color off of my fingers from the elephant toothpaste and it's adding it. Like, look at that. There's a little bit of red in there on top of it right now. This is insane. We added a bit more green to it, make it about the right color. And now we have our green slime ball in real life. Look at that. Imagine in Minecraft, you're holding a slime ball. This is what you're picking up in real life. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. That's disgusting. On slime blocks, you can bounce. Um, so we're going to test that theory real quick. Okay, here we go. Ready? So when you jump in Minecraft, you should be able to bounce off of it. What can you throw it and catch it? Ready? No. In Minecraft, there's a command that you can use to make any mob levitate. This is the same kind of effect you get if you get hit by a shulker shell. And we're going to use the laws of physics to make this happen in real life. And so we're going to be making Minecraft levitation potion in real life. And all you need is a simple box. We have an Amazon box here. And then we have scissors, okay? And also on top of scissors, you need a magnet and then string. And one more thing, just wait, just wait, just wait. You need paper clips. We have giant paper clips here to show you guys exactly how to make a levito levitation, levito levita levitation potion in real life, okay? So what should you do? When you have the box, you can just rip off the top, just have, as we have here so you can see the inside. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab out one of the paper clips. We have giant paper clips here, as you can see to the size of my face. I'm seven foot six, as you guys can tell. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your string that you have and you're gonna measure it to a, just about the halfway point of this box right here. So I'm just gonna rough cut it, honestly. I'm just gonna shoot in the dark, get that string off me. We're gonna cut it right about there and then as you can see, it's just about. Honestly, you can go a little bit above because the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna break a little hole in the bottom right here. And then once you have this hole in the bottom, you're gonna stick the string through the bottom. And once you have your hole and you stick the string inside of it, then it should come out the other side. And at the bottom end, this is the bottom. This is where it's all gonna sit on the, the counter itself. You're gonna create a little knot so that it doesn't go through the other side. A little knot right there so that when the string pulls, it gets stuck. You're gonna tie the paper clip to the end just right here, just like so. And now that you've tied it, it should should just kind of float. You see how right below, it's just like that. All you're gonna do, leave your paper clip down. And now you take your magnets that you've bought and you're just gonna place them on top. Then you take your Minecraft levitation potion. Woo! Boom! There we go. Levitation potion in real life. You see that? There's nothing right here, right? You just let go. It's floating. It's literally floating. Look at that. It's going over it. It's floating. Minecraft le levitation potion. Potion, bro. Give me a magnet, okay? Put a magnet on my back, and then put a magnet in the sky and fly. Why can't I just fly? Look at that, look at this. Bro, are you kidding me right now? That's just crazy, that's just. Look at that, is it moving? Is it flying? Dude, this is like an elytra in real life. This is an elytra in real life. Show what an elytra looks like in Minecraft. This is what I'm doing right now. A Minecraft compass. What if I told you you could make a compass for under 10 cents? in real life. And in order to make a compass, a Minecraft compass for that matter, in real life, it's just a compass at the end of the day. So to make it super cheap instead of using your phone or buying one off of Amazon, all you need is a magnet, a sewing needle, and then a corkscrew. And right here we have a bowl of water that we're gonna put inside of. And this should always point the north or south direction, which is exactly like Minecraft. And so what you need to do first is take the corkscrew and then you go like this, and you're just gonna cut a little sliver off the end right here. So you're just gonna get in there, get your knife in there, and uh, and just like that, there we go. We have the end of the corkscrew that will keep it afloat so that it will tell us the right direction, just like Minecraft. It leads you to your bed. So theoretically, this right here should lead us to our bed. And the next step in the process is to take one end of this little needle right here, and you're gonna tap it 50 times using one end of the magnet, okay? So we're gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And now once you've done 50, we're gonna flip it to the opposite end of this and we're gonna hit it 50 times like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10, 49, 50. Now that we hit it 50 times, we're gonna put it through the end of the corkscrew which is right here. And now you put the needle inside of the corkscrew sideways, just like this. And now that we've done both sides, all we have to do is just set it in a bit of water, just like so. And it should theoretically point to north, 
which if we put it up, right, this is a phone that has both north and south pointed. And if we point it, <gasps> yo, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. North is that way, south is that way. Wait a second, we made an actual compass. Wait a second, this is the cheapest compass I've ever seen in my life. This needle right here was maybe five cents. That corkscrew was two cents, seven cents. Look, it's perfect. Yo, yo, we made an actual Minecraft compass. Guys, that's all you have to do. Seriously, follow it and you can find your bed in Minecraft. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Subscribe. This here is a man-made lava flowing mountain, but it can be found just about anywhere in Minecraft. Just lava flowing all over the place. Now let's see this in action in real life. So that means we're gonna be making lava flowing from Minecraft in real life. And all you need is just a little bottle like this. We're gonna be using this because this is where the lava is gonna be flowing out. It'll make it a little bit easier to see it visually and for it to go whoosh and go everywhere. You know what I mean? Then we're gonna have these. This is gonna make red color dye or if you just have red dye, that works just as well. So what we're gonna do to start is obviously just Add a little bit of food dye in there, color dye, whichever dye you want. And add like a couple spritz in there, a couple more in here. Beep, beep, beep. We're gonna add two drops, ready? Now that we have our red dye, you need something that you find in every single kitchen, hopefully in every single household, dish soap. Um, we're gonna add a lot of pumps into this one because we want a very big explosion. We want our lava to go into the sky. Even though it doesn't do that in Minecraft, we're gonna make lava flowing Pretty intense. Next, you need hydrogen peroxide. Now this is exactly what you find on the element table. This hydrogen hydrogen peroxide, HP, as it goes by in the scientific term. Um, we're gonna add all, enough to where it's filled up like halfway, just under, a little bit under halfway. Hydrogen peroxide. The thing that helps you breathe, it comes from trees, hydrogen peroxide. We're gonna add a little bit more. There we go. And that should be just about enough, right? We're gonna stir this up a little bit. Now that we've made our lava concoction, now we have to add real life lava, which is what we've made right here. And all we've done to make this is add a little bit of water, warm it up in the microwave, and then we add an instant yeast. You have to let it sit for about three minutes. We're gonna add a little bit more yeast to it. It's uh, pretty straightforward, but you just pour the yeast inside, make sure it's warm, and there you go. Just let it sit for a couple of minutes, let it let the concoction brew, and then we're gonna pour this inside of each other, and it's gonna Boom! Okay, and now all that's left to do is pour it inside. We have people standing outside, a safety crew, because that's our number one priority here in the Linux laboratory. So now all we have to do is just pour it inside. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it does work! Oh, yeah! Look at that, come close, come close, come close. Look at it, it's still coming out the top. Yo, it smells horrible, dude. Look how it's completely covering the entire outside. It's just still going. Look, if I wipe the top off, look at that. Yo! <laughs> That's so cool. And you can do this on a bigger scale using that same exact method. You just need a lot of all of it. This is crazy. Look at this. Ooh, ooh. Why is it like that? Why is it like that? Ooh! ooh. Stinks. And now it's time to do it 100 times the scale that we did it in the last one. So right here we have our lava and then we have our lava that we're gonna add on top of it. Okay, this could get really messy. I'm a bit worried because the other one completely filled the table. This is 100 times. Don't know how well this is gonna work. The floor is already dirty, so if it gets on the floor, it's fine. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Get it all in, get it all in. There we go. Go, go up. Ah! There's no way. Well, it's flowing. It's lava flowing. It's not very red. Can we make it more red by adding stuff inside? Oh, that is terrifying. It looks like someone died inside of it. That is so scary. Bro, oh my, wait, that actually looks kind of crazy. Wait a second. Okay, hopefully it stops there so it doesn't get on the counter. Okay, lava flowing needs to stop. Lava flowing needs to stop. Get off the top. This just looks so crazy. I just got it all over the counter. Look at my hands. Bruh. It's so fun to mess with, bro. Look at that. It's like, it's all, ew, ew. No way. Oh, bruh. Nah. Oh, dude, my hands are pink, bro. If you're one to pay close attention to Minecraft, you know that if dirt is next to a grass block, the grass block will basically infect the dirt block and make it also a grass block. This is called the capillary action, and you can see it in real life, in real time. So we're gonna do this in real life. And you're probably wondering, how in the world are we gonna make one block go from the other and then just create a bunch of grass blocks all over the place? Well, it's called capillary action, or 
that's at least what it says online and I don't know how true that is or what it actually means to be honest. But we're gonna figure it out together. So all you need is a couple of bowls, cups, whatever you need to hold just a bit of water. We're, we have three bowls here that we're gonna fill with a bunch of water. And right here, I have a cup full of water, AKA Starbucks for some reason. And then we're gonna fill this up. And now all we're gonna do is just put on each side one color. Now in Minecraft, when you place one grass block right here, it then puts all the other dirt blocks to normal grass blocks. You guys know what I'm talking about. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna put on one side, we're gonna put a little bit of green blocks, just like grass. And then we're gonna stir it up, make this entire bit of water green and this side green, just to show that it gets from one point to the other, okay? And lastly, in the middle, we're gonna put a bit of blue. Now this is gonna be the point that we see where the green comes and meets, which is our grass block. We're gonna stir the blue water so that we can tell where everything, all of the grass and the blue is going, okay? So now that we put that together, we're gonna take our paper towel. This is gonna be the telling point of where everything is going. So our grass, our, we'll say water for now. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this together, put it inside. We can just sit and watch. now. If the grass works how grass would in Minecraft, the green and the blue should meet together at this point right here. Now, as I'm feeling like these edges right here, how in the world did the water get from here or here to inside of this middle bit? I didn't touch it or necessarily move it too much to where the water was going into this middle bit. It just moved there itself, okay? Apparently it's called capillary action. I don't know what that means. Don't ask me, okay? I don't know. But it just means that from one point to the other, things move, okay? So technically we should see the green move to the middle, the blue move to the middle as well. So I can already feel the water moving, which doesn't make any sense at all. So I'm curious to see what the colors look like. As you can see, the blue is getting closer to the middle. Look at that, the blue is there. The green is right here, the green is right there. Look, it's all moving closer and closer to the middle, okay? It's just getting closer. That's how it works, apparently. Who added Minecraft mechanics to real life? Who? When did this update get added? I don't know why. When grass was added to Minecraft and then it started went from dirt to grass all over the place and one grass went to other grass, how? How? That doesn't happen in real life, okay? Why does it happen within paper towels? And now even more time has passed. And as you can see, the water has kind of gone all over the place and the colors have met in the middle. This is exactly what happens in Minecraft. Basically what happened is someone updated Minecraft into real life. I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, yeah, the colors are moving from here to here somehow and gravity doesn't go that way, it goes that way, right? I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. Myth busted, subscribe.